Um, so last week we had a really special time of farewelling Scott, um, but another significant event happened last week. Um, on the 12th of February um, this year, um, John s celebrated 20 years of senior pastor of our church. Yeah. <laughs> So um, I just have a few words to say. Um, firstly, I'd like to mention his local, national and international roles that he's been acti active in over this time. John's been on the Baptist Care SA board. He was on the South Australian Baptist Union executive for over 10 years, which is now Baptist Churches of South Australia. And he was state president for three consecutive terms. He's national president of the Baptist Union, was, sorry, um, and National Chair of Crossover Australia, on which both he still serves. He is currently a board member of Baptist World Alliance. He has served as the Executive Officer for the Company of Grace in Vietnam, where he has been instrumental in the formation, development and sustainability of this ministry. And also his support and involvement in Bangladesh with Ashish Bowl has been crucial. John has been active in the development and sustainable human services in both of these countries. So, if that isn't enough to keep someone busy, um, you and Liz um, have both raised an amazing family and you should be really, really proud. And amongst all of this too, you received your doctorate in literature. So, John, you have served faithfully at Enfield Baptist for 20 years. I was a part of the search committee in seeking a new pastor 21 years ago. The church's directive at the time was to seek a person who would lead the church forward and when we interviewed John, we knew God's hand was on this man to fulfil that call and lead you have. John has been nothing but committed to the life and ministry for all of these years. His birth visions has led and fed God's people here. He has encouraged and mentored. He has not been afraid to make changes or push the boundaries of what ministry to a broken world is. A few of the things that um, John has visioned, led and implemented are introducing the EBC board and ministry community along with the uh, members' discernment process. He's moved our church to two morning services, the op shop over at New Beginnings, um, significantly the Life Form Ministries and uh, all that that means, as well as conference. Um, uh, uh, development of young people into accredited ministry, most notably, obviously, Dan and Scott. Um, our pro whole property development, um, auditorium expansion, our Watson Avenue development, the community partnership centre and the community garden. Um, John has led the way in all of our duty of care and our child safe practices, which has been um, instrumental. His encouragement to, he's encouraged those ministries that have been long standing as well. He's faithfully preached and taught God's word to his people here at Enfield. And really these all only scratch the surface. JB, your strong gifting is to lead and manage, yet your heart and ministry has always been with the local church and for the lost and the broken, a wonderful mix. Your desire is to see more people more like Jesus, which has led you to give your life to the work here at Enfield. John, you lead and manage people so well. You understand more than anyone, process, alignment and moving towards outcomes. You have an ability to see the big picture. You bring a calm to any situation and I believe EBC exhibits that same character because of it. To your staff and board, you empower, mentor, help develop and lead with grace and by example. You have a great sense of humour, even if you don't know you're being funny sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> and a clear mind of which I'm sure has got you through any difficult day. I guess your real flaw is that you barrack for Carlton. But after 20 years, I guess we can forgive that. For someone who has influence and stature in Baptist circles, you have a real servant heart. You will serve where needed, whether that's preaching, leading teams, ministering to the sick and dying, dealing with the most challenging situations in people's lives. But then you also will vacuum the carpet before an event, you'll straighten chairs, you respond to alarms in the middle of the night. You truly are a humble servant of God. So JB, as a church on Mission for Jesus, we are grateful and we are blessed. On behalf of the board, the staff, members and family here at Enfield, we say congratulations on 20 years of wonderful ministry. And today we honour you and we thank God for you. Um, so I'd just like to invite John and David Berry, who's going to present a gift. 
And while they're doing that, if we could just show our appreciation to John. <laughs> Well, John, 20 years. Uh, the first service, this was wrapped up in uh, two blue colours, I think it was, for Carlton. But uh, here's a gift from all these people, your family, that you can hang up in your office or in your home. Just a bit of a memory, a memory jogger for this day. And you realise 20 years ago, um, Carlton were premiers. They just... Premiers, 20 years ago, that's right. Things got better though, 97, 98, Crows did it well too, you know. <laughs> but uh, as Jenny said in those great words, you've done an amazing, you've had an amazing career in this place for 20 years, so uh, who knows how long this will keep going, but um, can I pray for you? Well, we just thank you for John, the gifts that you've given him, the way he's used them, over these 20 years here in uh, local roles in the community and then as a state state and a national and now in the World Baptist World Alliance. Just thank you for him and Liz and the family for what they have been able to do in those 20 years. And uh, we look forward to amazing things going forward. So uh, yes, Lord, we just uh, thank you for this humble servant in your son's precious name. Amen. I can't honestly say this serves it was a surprise, <laughs> but the last service it was an absolute surprise. I had no idea. And uh, I did know last week, uh, having looked at my diary, that it was the anniversary. Um, but last week we did you know, have an important focus. Uh, I just want to say as I reflect on the kind words that have been said, um, that what I shared at the staff retreat recently was a picture of a pole with a turtle on the top of the pole. And the question I put to the staff was, how did the turtle get there? And the purpose of the exercise was for us all to think about where God places us and not so much that he places up at the top of the pole as if it's the highest point you can get, but wherever he places us, we need to appreciate we didn't get there by ourselves. You know, a turtle is not on the top of a pole by themselves. Who put them there? How did they get there? How did they get off? How did they cared for? So I want to acknowledge here today that uh, you don't get there alone. And whatever those kind words that Jenny, thank you so much, has put together and shared about me and ministry, I want to acknowledge that none of it is sufficient of myself. And the Bible says that we are not sufficient of ourselves. So I want to public acknowledge that this church family has been an enabler. You've allowed me to have access to ministries that uh, John Field, right the way back, put his hand on my shoulder, said, would you be part of, say, Company of Grace? And you as a church has said, would you do that? We'll allow you to do that. So you've put aside some time that I don't have to worry about. Is this going to be time that, you know, will not be permitted? So the staff, an incredible staff group over that time, every staff member, I want to acknowledge and thank so much. Um, you've been on the journey longest, I think, Jenny, of all people uh, in that time. I remember Steve being in the seat when I arrived in the role that Jenny then took over. Um, so it's been an amazing experience with incredible staff. A, a great leadership team, uh, a ministry community who uh, have served God very faithfully. I'm blessed to see the wonderful kids' ministries. I've enjoyed the worship of this church. It's just home. The 20 most significant years of my life have been here. So you're my family, I'm your family, and I thank my family for allowing all of this to happen too because families often think, you know, should we be somewhere else or whatever, but I believe God always called us to here. Now, we're facing a different future. Um, I'm getting older. The frightening thing about thinking about being, you know, 63 or 4 at the moment is that um, add another 20 years and I'm sort of pushing up Daisy somewhere in a, in a park. Well, sorry for you 80-year-olds here. I mean, <laughs> you're not <laughs> quite doing that at the moment. Um, but you get a sense of your mortality. So I'm not going to be around forever. In fact, we in the board need to look over the next five years and work out how we're going to look, where we're going to transition. We've got a lot of people away today. We've got people at the young, young adults camp and so on. 
on. Um, but we are a growing church, but we've got some challenges for the future we need to look at together. So I want to be in there for that journey with you, but uh, we need to look at the next transition phase of my own ministry and where you're going to be in the future. So that's the next step. So thank you, church. It's been an incredible journey. I would not have wanted to be anywhere else. When I go away, I long to be back. And um, this place is in my heart, and I trust my heart is fully in this place, which I believe it is. So I thank you for being able to be your pastor and having been afforded the privilege of that over 20 long years. Really great. Thank you so much.